Hey friends, hope the morning's treating you well. Hope you got your coffee. I got mine. It is an absolutely beautiful day here in Indiana. I mean, beautiful. No humidity, there's a nice breeze, it's sunny. It's like everything spring should be. And I'm enjoying it while I can. But uh, I do hope you got your coffee. I've been drinking mine. Not feeling real great today, but um, powering through the best I can. I want to say right up front that um, there's a documentary that I want you guys to see. I want you guys to, to watch. It just became available in the last day or two, and it's a Peter Case documentary. They've been working on this for a long time, and it's finally available. It's Peter Case, a million miles away, and um, you can watch it right here on YouTube. It's three dollars and ninety nine cents, and um, you know Peter came on and did some uh, stuff here on the channel, and you guys liked that. It seemed like everybody loved it. The Dylan episode was really good, where he talked about how you, you don't really want to meet your idols and stuff like that. Um, Peter's a really smart thoughtful, you know, just wise person who has been up and down the road and has had a really cool, interesting life. You know, he's just an interesting cat. And I'm looking forward to seeing that documentary. I'm going to watch it tonight um, when I'm done with this. I'm going to watch watch it sometime today. And um, I hope you'll do it too. I don't know if have you guys ever known anybody who made a documentary. You have any idea how hard it is to finish something like that how much of a pain in the ass it is just to it's you start out something like that because you feel passionate about the subject and but it is so hard to complete something like that there's money you know it's just like a bottomless pit of money and time and effort and uh, I don't know man I and it's also not about like some famous pop star. It's not a, a Taylor Swift documentary where you know people are gonna throw, nothing against her, I don't mean it like that, but you know people are gonna throw a bunch of money at it or whatever. This is about a really interesting counterculture uh, person who uh, isn't a household name, but has led a really super interesting life and um, I, that's not the easiest thing to finish, you know, and to get money for it and all of that. And I personally, one, I really dig Peter as an artist and I dig him as a person. You know, I really like Peter a lot. And uh, I'm going to spend my $3.99 and watch that. And that will be an investment. You know, if we can watch that, we, let's be honest. If you're watching this with me this morning and you're having your coffee with me, you are the people who need to support this kind of thing. You know, if we don't, nobody will. We're the people who are down the rabbit hole and we care about this kind of stuff. And it's three dollars and ninety-nine cents, and we're gonna watch something, you know, in the next few days anyway. Might as well be this and uh, learn what we can from it. But by doing that, we will make it. We will say out loud, you know, with our money that yes, we do value things like that and more people will make things like this in the future. Um, the more success stories there are about people who make documentaries about people like Peter Case, you know, if people support that, there will be more of that. So other artists that we love that um, aren't household names. We can have documentaries and things like that about them. So that's why I get nothing out of this. Absolutely nothing other than Peter's my friend and he's brought me a lot of joy in my life by listening to his music. That's it, you know, and he brought some joy into a lot of your lives musically and by sitting and listening to him talk in the interviews that we did in that hotel room in Columbus a few weeks ago. So. Um, I will put all of the information I can possibly find. I will put it in the description of this video and I will put it in the comments down below and I will try to like pin that to the top. And um, I, I checked right before I got on here. You can watch it on YouTube and a few other places. I believe uh, um, iTunes, I think Google Play and everything, but you can watch it on YouTube and it was $3.99 to rent it. And 
I've done that with uh, people I really wasn't as interested in, just, you know, watched some things before. So I wanted to say that. Also want to say, this is way out of left field, but this is something that we we're talking about this morning, Amy and I. There's a Hank Williams song, The Battle of Armageddon, and um, I've heard this all of my life. I actually like the song. It's one of his religious songs. I dig it, but I never thought about um, what he was singing. And in the chorus, it says, uh, uh, the gates of Eden, all the way from the gates of Eden to the battle of Amagadon. And I always like, let that go by. Amagadon? I was like, what's he singing there? You know, one day, a few months ago, I was just kind of like, what is he singing there? Amagadon. I never really, because a lot of times things go by and I don't know what word they're singing. And I looked up the lyrics. He's saying Armageddon. And I'm just like, but he's singing Amy God. And you guys know what I'm talking about. You've heard the song. Go listen to the song. And he um, says, all the way from the gates of Eden to the battle of Amy God. There'll be trials and tribulations and sorrow and despair. And um, I was just like, what? I started thinking today, this is how we start thinking. Is there some kind of like a, a severe country folk living up in the hills way of saying Armageddon that, um, you know. So I was thinking about who can I ask this? And my best friend, Todd Fox, he went to a very, very, very conservative church, very conservative church. And there were some old men there who would sing. They didn't believe in music. Um, he was brought up in this. They didn't believe in like having actual music accompaniment. You had to sing everything a cappella, or it would be evil and bad. And that's how conservative they were. And um, so I'm like, okay, um, Todd, these old cats, these old guys, maybe they said Amy Gotten. So I call Todd, which is crazy. I picked up the phone and I called somebody. That's like how. And he's like, is everything all right? I'm like, yeah. And he says, well, you called me. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I just uh, I just wanted to ask you a question. And it's not, nothing's bad. I just want you to ask. And I said, I sang that to him. I said, have you ever heard like the people like at your church sing it like that? And he said, nope, they sang Armageddon. And then he says, let me get this straight. You had some kind of hillbilly crap that's why you call me because you think I know about some kind of hillbilly crap he's laughing and I'm laughing and I'm like sorry man I thought maybe so I have no idea so right before I get on here I'm talking to Amy about it we're kind of laughing and I'm like well who can I ask who would know this and I thought I know who would know Chuck Mead so um and I started recording so when I get off of the phone here I'm gonna call Chuck Mead because Chuck knows all things Hank Williams, and uh, I don't know. I think he might at least be able to explain this to me. Maybe he won't, but if I can't get that from Chuck, now the last time I actually, I'll text back and forth with Chuck, but I don't call anybody. I'm like terrible at being in touch with anybody at all, you know, and um, it's just the way I am. So last time I called Chuck, I don't rem Oh, I remember I was supposed to meet him and my buddy Butch Prim. We were supposed to meet for breakfast in Nashville, and I called him last minute because we had to change plans or whatever. And he got really serious with me, and he and he's like, "Is everything all right, Otis?" And I'm like, um, "Yeah, why?" And he's like, "Oh God." He's like, "You never call anybody. I figured somebody died or something if you were calling me." So I was worried, and he was serious. And I'm like, "No, man, I'm sorry." I you know, I never call anybody. I don't talk to anybody. All that. It's just like we're changing our breakfast plans. Anyway, I'm calling him, but I'm going to text him first. Preface it by saying, I just want you to know everything is fine. Nobody died. Um, there's no bad news, but I'm about to actually call you. I'll give you 15 minutes buffer before it happens so you can get this message. That's what I'm going to do, and we'll see. But tell me... 
anybody out there, have you heard anybody say Amy Godden for Armageddon? Um, I don't know, like in your church growing up or wherever? I don't know, are you from Alabama? Is that an Alabama thing? Like maybe in Georgiana, where Hank was from? They said Amy Godden. I don't know, I'm not making fun of anybody. It just really was one of those things when you realize that you've been hearing somebody sing something for all your life, you're like, oh, that's a different, they're singing, you know, that's a different word than what I thought they were. I didn't even know what word he was singing, but, but anyway. And then the last thing I want to talk about this morning is um, I, uh, if you're in Indianapolis or central Indiana and you're, you know, it's Saturday morning and you're watching this or whatever, my buddy David Greer, who is one of my poker buddies um, in Nashville, we play poker over at Andy Reese's house. Um, David Greer like, might be the best flat picker alive. He's just phenomenally good flat picker. It's kind of amazing thing to, to witness. And I've heard, I only say that because there are people who are way better than me way better players and practitioners and all of that that will tell me a lot that like that I think are just phenomenal and they'll say man David's like the best you know if he's not the best he's one of the couple or whatever flat pickers but and he was buddies with Clarence White and uh, I re I did an interview with him back when for that I threw up on this channel a couple years ago. A lot of you are new and you may be interested in that and just not know that I did this interview, but um, where he's talking about his memories of Clarence White, like being around him, his personal memories. His, and David's dad played with Bill Monroe and um, a lot of history there, a lot of cool history, but um, just so you know, David is coming up uh, to Indianapolis tonight and he's gonna uh, be at Arthur's Music in Fountain Square. It's a music store, and um, he's going to play. And um, right when I first moved back to to Indy, he came up and played at Arthur's, and it was a really good time. They had a good crowd, and it was just a really good, fun, fun gig. And you get to see, like, stand ten feet away from somebody who's just phenomenal guitar player. And um, so, if you wanted to come out to that. I think the doors are 6.30, and he starts playing at 7, and uh, I'm going to be there. If you want to come out and say hi to me, my best buddy Todd will be there. Come out and meet David Greer, and it um, should be fun. Who knows who else might be there, but um, all the Hoosier luminaries might be there, but I um, just want you guys to know that. And we won't talk while David's playing, but I'm happy to say hey and shake hands and all that stuff, you know. Maybe we'll play poker or something, or maybe not. But uh, anyway, tell me down below. What, remember to watch Peter Case's, uh, I'll put the links down below to Peter Case's documentary. We're going to watch that this weekend. Uh, and you're going to leave a comment somewhere saying, Otis sent me or whatever. That always makes me happy when you do that. And um, tell me about the Armageddon pronunciation, if I don't know about it. And then... Uh, I'm going to link the David Greer interview talking about um, talking about uh, Clarence White up here, and maybe I'll see you tonight at the show. And um, enjoy your coffee. Thank you for hanging out and being here. And uh, I'm going to leave town next week. Uh, I won't say where I'm going, but I got to go somewhere and work on something. So I might not upload that much. So be sure and watch the stuff I've been uploading this week and. Uh, and watch David Greer here talking about Clarence White. And I'll talk to you soon. Much love to you.